SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management, as part of the extension suite, is a service offering to digitize workflows, automate business processes, manage decision logic, and gain end-to-end -end process visibility. It can be used to extend processes running within SAP applications, but also running within any application offered by the system, therefore leveraging SAP Cloud Platform integration. In addition, it can be used in combination with SAP Intelligent Robotic Process Automation to also automate unstructured tasks and can also consume workflow content which is available within the SAP API Business Hub and then can be used within the Process Flexibility Cockpit by a Business Expert user. In combination with several other services like Conversational AI or SAP Workzone for HR, a broad set of use cases can be tackled. In fact, SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management allows you to do more with less and really freeing up your employees to do more meaningful work with the help of process automation. It ensures compliance and helps you to flexibly adapt your business processes to new requirements. Purchase requisition approval and release is one of the most common use case in every organization. It plays a key role in the buying process. Organizations must be able to spend their money wisely while getting the expected value. In addition, compliance with internal regulations and traceability of the approval process before the order is placed is a must. Often purchase requisitions consist of several line items, which might lead to different handling for approvals. Purchase requisition approval and release, live process content packages enable customers to automate approval and release of line items in a flexible and transparent way. It provides flexibility in choosing process variants depending on different attributes. When a requester creates a purchase request with line items in SAP ERP, pre-configured process variants are triggered in SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management. Now let's take a closer look and open the Process Flexibility Cockpit. There you are able to discover several live process content packages in the Process Hub. In this case, we are looking for the Purchase, Requisition, Approval and Release live process content package, including different artifacts like processes or business rules. Once imported, you are able to create your own process variant. And this is what we want to do right now. We are creating a new process variant for services. Now we can easily adapt this process variant based on our business needs. So for example, adding here a dedicated approval for the first step, in this case, the cost center owner. With easy drag and drop functionality, it's very easy to, for example, add also a new step here. And finally, activate this new process variant. Once it's becoming active, you can actually also, of course, use it then. In addition to the processes, we also have several decisions which are available there. Now let's take a closer look here. So for example, there is one business rule available, which helps you to determine the actually used workflow template. So there you can determine which process variant should be used during the execution of a particular process, and of course, based on different attributes. In addition, you can also determine who should be the approver. This could be, for example, based on the ordered goods, or the price, or the buying organization, for example. This has been defined here with the help of a decision table. Another possibility would also be, besides the decision table, to use a text rule. And this is what we are doing here, when we are using a rule to validate each and every line item of a specific purchase order requisition.
Once the process is executed, of course, it's also important to take a closer look at the performance of the process. Within this dashboard, there are several KPIs which can be followed and we can also easily drill down into a single items of the process. So for example, we can take a closer look how the, well they are performing, where issues are, and also can take a look at the actual process path. So which process steps have already been executed and probably also where currently some issues are in. In addition to that, there are several filter possibilities. So we can take a look, for example, at the purchasing organization and also navigate down really to the several dedicated items here. So it's really up to you to define which kind of KPIs should be measured and displayed here. And this can also be easily done and configured within this environment. So there, different kind of status information can be maintained, different kind of performance indicators, for example, based on certain attributes. And once activated, you can then really track the performance and the reach of different key performance indicators within your process. Within the My Inbox application, the business user actually will take a look then at the actual approval tasks. And then to either the approval or the rejection of the new purchase requisition requests. Now let's take a closer look how this has been built. So within the workflow capability of SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management, we have defined here a workflow which is then representing the approved line item process step in the managed process variant, which you have seen before. Also for the validation of a line item, there has been a dedicated workflow being created. The same is true for release right, the line item. So within this environment, then also the different templates which, which are delivered to you have been defined different attributes, and of course, also constraints can be maintained here. And finally, the variants are defined also in this tool. So as you can see here within the SAP API Business Hub, all the delivered live process content packages are displayed and available. You can take a closer look which artifacts are available. You can take a look at the configuration guide, the setup guide. So all the information is available for you so that you are really sure that you take the right scenario for your use case. Now it's up to you to discover more live process content packages available in SAP API Business Hub to accelerate digital process automation within your organization. Thanks for watching.